Danger, danger. Ooh. Now, let me show you the difference. This is called a Fat Boy Coil, or AKA Super Oz Magneto Coil. Super high performance fucking stator coil. Okay. Now cleaned it all up. Ah, there we go. Yeah, just <clears throat> gotta polish it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, nice and sparkly. Yeah. Now the difference between this and this. This is your shitty standard coil that comes in the Phantom. That's a Super Oz Magneto. See. This is the stupid 12 volt light setup. This one's got more windings. It's almost back together. Big fucking piston. Clutch is back together. Oh, lay it down, lay it down. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let me just uh, get that cover on real quick. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There it is. There's my baby. There's my baby. Oh, this clutch is still tight. Damn. That's awesome. Clutch is still tight. Yeah. 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 This is all back together now. Now, I'm running an extra ground wire because... When I had this magneto coil on that fucking Schwinn, that one right there, that's between my four stroke and that other bike in the back, that motherfucker ran so fucking fast that it went faster than my niece's fucking Phantom. So, this super mag's in here now. Yep. It says, don't be a dick. Want to see the custom exhaust? Custom exhaust. Most of y'all say, I don't know how to weld. Well, that looks like a pretty good weld to me. And right here. By the way, you can't buy any more Phantom 85 pipes or this fucking muffler because they're sort of sold out right now. I don't know why. Probably because everybody's hurrying up and buying the engines without doing research and uh, the motor fails and then they're stuck with a fucking motor that doesn't work. I think I was one of the ones that got one of the fucking return kits and somebody raced the motherfucker and uh, the thing was in non-working order when I got it and then fucking managed to get it to work and then blew up on me but... This bitch is back together. She's ready to race again. And like I said, in case you didn't see it, I'll show it to you again. Let me get my little starter pin here. My Allen wrench. See down inside that big ass bore hole? Yeah, you can see the crank rod. Like you're supposed to. Not half of the piston and shit. There's the big bore holes, baby. And look, two of the piston rods come down, or the, uh, the piston things. The other one is wedged up at the top of the fucking cylinder, if you can see that. There's three of them. Of course, wait, see? There's three of them, and they're lubricated. That's why they look like that. They're not tight-fitting like the other one is. The one keeps the fucking, uh, the one at the top keeps from fucking snagging because it stays up in the cylinder lubricating the motor. The other two are for fucking compression.
what's so hard to understand about this. All right, and on the front, in case you didn't see, let me grab my key again. Three piston rings. Bottom dead center. Goes back up. Comes back down. Goes back up. Comes back down. Do you understand now? Good. Thanks for watching.